All right, it's been a long time coming, and I will admit, a little intimidating. So what is this? What am I talking about? This is Bart's Blind Challenge from Aqua Vitae, Scotch Test Dummies. It's sealed. Um, uh, he's got it called the Peated Edition, and I'm going to unseal it. I've got multiple glasses here. I don't know how many are involved. Um, I'm going to just let the camera roll. I may edit um, just to keep things tight. Kids are upstairs. Um, we are watching the grandkids all the time. So if you hear noises in the background, that's what that will be. We'll see. And I'm probably in a little bit of trouble because I haven't been helping out as much because I've been doing some filming. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> Some of you know what I'm talking about. All right, it's taped in. We're going to break the seal. Uh, there's going to be things to read and things to try and things to taste. And holy moly, I will see if I can even break the seal. Hold on. All right, let's see what we got. All right, open first. So again, Roy from Aqua Vitae does a fabulous job on these. So open first, then I'm going to have some envelope one challenges, envelope two, and there's some bottles in there. Let me break the seal on open first. So, and boom. Okay, interesting. So I'm looking at something like this. Blind Challenge Bart Scotch Test Dummies. Now, here's how delinquent I am. October 2019, he made this. He gave this to me in Austin when we were down at the Bastards Ball. And it sat here on my, my uh, bar and mocked me. So I've got some colored little stickers. I've been nominated by Drew, Scotch 4 Dummies. Thank you, Drew. Um, one, place the colored dots on five Glencairns, pour the drams, that will match. Okay, so I'm going to pause and do that now. All right, the drams are poured. So my instructions were to match the dots. So I put a dot on both sides so that I can see it, and hopefully you guys can too. Oh, and the kids are going nuts upstairs, but that's all right. So we've got, and we've got one with a, like a white dot. And so this one has no dot at all. I will say the peat goodness is coming off of these strongly. Um, and here's a nice thing. So uh, I've grabbed a little post-it note and it says, two nose and taste, summarize your thoughts, guess only if you feel confident. And here's the best part. This is fully blind, the whiskey is on test, not you. Just enjoy. All right, I'm gonna enjoy, especially with what's going on <laughs> not too far. All right, so we're not going into challenges yet. Um, okay, I'm just gonna nose and enjoy. So let me start with this one that has the white, like white out dot on top, no sticker. Oh boy. Beautiful smell. Uh, I don't know if I was to guess, I would say Lagavulin. It's got a nice spice, vanilla, tobacco. Mm. That one's got a little salivation going already. So do back of the hand just like our blinds. Okay, we got yellow. Huh, more muted, softer. Um, I get honey notes. And um, almost like a burnt branch. Hmm. That one is much more honey oriented for me than peat oriented. So I get clay, like a wet clay.
And I would almost describe like the heather peat. Those soft, faint, not quite earthy, just like feathery, if that makes sense, peatiness. I did save a little bit of the drams back for two reasons. One, in case I end up running into a technical difficulty, I can recreate. Um, and two, maybe I want to pour a little extra, I'll just pour a little extra in. Huh. Um, so again, this, this, what is this? This one I've had before, I think. But again, I get more of a slight antiseptic peat. These feel softer to me than that very first one. Maybe a little bit of rising dough, the barley that's there. Hmm. So again, uh, oh, nose and taste. Well, I'm going to do it like we do the show, and I'm nosing them all individually first. Hmm. Boy, that one feels so faint. I don't know what I can get on that. All right, let's go back to what feels and looks like a log of woolen to me. No, taste, nose is like a log. A log. Mmm. Oh boy. No. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to enjoy. It's a lot more smoky, earthy, hard beggy. Oh, that is good. I love this one. That is nice. Mmm. I had a little bit of water. I'm going to need to refresh. Ooh, that is good. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what the yellow is doing. Whoa. Um, herbal. Dry, touches a citrus, a honey, a thick honey in the finish. Very nice. I'm not going to add any water, although I have water at hand if I want to. So, mm. green. Wow. I get like a, a savory meat in the finish. It was more like burning campfire early on. Then it shifted over to like a roasting kind of meat. Hmm. All right. No, they're good. So we got our lighter colors and our darker colors coming in. Huh. Hmm. Wow. Ooh, a little higher proof. More, uh, more astringent. I don't know, that kind of harkens me to a Laphroaig. But almost like an older Laphroaig. All right, one more sip, and then I'm going to refill my water. I don't know, if, I don't know maybe and try to quiet the children and the babies. All right, here we go. Hmm. Um, a little more floral. I mean, the peats there, obviously, as well. It's a almost like a sooty, dusty kind of peat. Hmm. All right, let me pause. I'm going to grab water, and then I'm going to, well, I'm supposed to rank them. Commit to your favorite 
Commit to your favorite through to your least favorite. Before anything is revealed about the contents, set them out in a line, favorite to least, and vocalize your preferences. All right, I'm at step three. I've ranked them. I've taken my time. I've sipped away. i got to be careful because of the peat here. Um, they started to kind of blend together for me. But here's what I have in order. So number one is the green. And the notes I get here are tobacco, leather, spice. And just because those notes, I could be way wrong, I'm going to say it's an art bag. Um, number two is the white one. So no sticker at all. White, um, I have it as powerful, earthy, high proof. Excuse me. Um, and there's some other things in here that I can't quite pick out. I have a little question mark. Um, number three is the red one. I have it as dry and dusty. Now these are all peaty. So I'm not just going to say peat on all of them. I'm trying to give you the type. Blue, I have as number four, rich, sherried. I can tell it from the, uh, the both the flavor and the look, but I like this one because the uh, the sherry in this one is a little bit better than what I think may be a little bit of sherry in number five, which is yellow, but I've got it as dry, citrus, honey, finish. So I've ranked them. All right, um, we're going to go to the first step here. So um, I'm going to open envelope number one, try to complete the five challenges. Okay, so there's going to be challenges. Envelope number one, challenges do not open until after committing preferences. Preferences are committed. I've committed said preferences. So we're going to open up here, and we're going to see what the challenges are. Here's the cool thing. I'm already in and I'm just starting to enjoy the game show element of this. So, all right, let's see here. We'll get that out of the way. Challenge envelope one. We have challenge. All right, so I think something's going to fall out here or something. All right, challenges. All <laughs> these kids upstairs. Special note, this is a slight deviation from the usual blind challenge. All five blind samples are peated. However, so and peated is bold. However, the usual values remain on test. Is old better than young? Can a cheaper expression beat an expensive bottle? I'm sure it can. Is Isla malt the best peated malt? All right, my, that's my preference, but I like other uh, peats as well. Or can a non-scotch, ooh, or can a non-scotch do something better than what the Scots have been doing for centuries? Come now, come on. I almost want to say there's an abomination in there, but we'll see. Um, so number one, I'm supposed to find the NAS budget expression. Find the non-age statement NAS budget expression. That's challenge number one, and this is less than $40. Less than $40. Hmm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Well, let's see. Man. All right, let me see what my other challenges are, and I'll see if I can find the less than 40. Find the non-scotch whiskey. Mm, I got a feeling that yellow may be it. Hmm. Find the mature $300 bottle. Wow. Find the Campbellton Peat. Find the Highland Isla Peat. Find the Highland Island peat, non-Isla. Interesting. Okay, so the challenges. Well, let me look. So if I had to guess, um, let 
me see this five here, or this yellow. Red, red. Boy, that sure seems Isla. Hold on. All right, back in. I'm going to say find the NAS budget expression less than $40, which is crazy. I'm going to go with the red. It's lighter, so part of it's, it's still very flavorful. But here's the trick with Pete. Young Pete has a nice big punch. I like a Petey punch. So part of my judgment here is going to be by the lightness of it, just saying that it is a non-age statement, probably meaning it's fairly young, that it's less than 40. I'm just going to go with the red. I'm just, I'm just landing on the red. Find the non-scotch whiskey. Now that, there, the blue, I think, has a nose that reminds me of the abomination. I don't know where it is, but it, it's like the the speed-aged American version that is not terrible. It'll stun you when it's not terrible, but the nose here feels almost... <laughs> but see, it could be the $300 one, and then jackass! The nose is just so much different, but that being said, I'm... Uh, mm. Something's very different with blue. So I'm going to go with blue being the non-scotch whiskey. It, sh it can fool me. All I'm saying is there's something different about it. And because of that difference, I'm going to pick it as the non-scotch whiskey. Find the mature $300 bottle. Wow, wow, wow. Um, I think it's the white one. Yeah, I'm going to go white. This, it, it kind of reminds me of the, the Ard Bog maybe a little bit, or the, what is it? The nineteen, the nineteen ninety. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of the Ardbeg nineteen ninety or the Ardbog. So I'm going to say this is maybe the white one. That feels like the the older of them. It's definitely held the color, yet still a lot of those peat flavors. So I'm going to land with. Sorry, the white one is here. Um, still, what's interesting is that green. Mm. Find the Campbellton peat. Mm -hmm. And find the Highland. Um, okay, let's see. Red, blue, yellow is the dry citrus. I'm going to call the Campbellton the yellow. Um, let me see here. Yeah, let's just do it. <laughs> that might be the Highland, though, too. And then, oh, boy, to mess with me. So really, find the Highland. Island Pete. Non-Isla. Well, there's no way I think that, man, might still be the red. So... Have they, has he doubled up here? Let's try it. God, that's good. That sure feels like Isla. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to say I can't really find, well, which one had the Heather? Gosh darn it. I didn't write it down on my notes. Let's just go with the red. Um, we'll go with the red right now. I think I'm wrong on that one. All right, so to sum up the challenges, find the NAS budget expression less than $40. Crazy, 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 I'm saying red. What's weird is I'm also saying red is the, the Highland 
Island Pete, non-Isla. But I've got a huge question mark on that. I think I'm wrong on that one. That's number five is find the Highland. I don't know if I can find the Highland. Find the non-Scotch whiskey. I believe that's the blue. There's something funky about the blue. And I've even changed its order based on that funkiness. But it was, it was up here. Um, find the mature $300 bottle. I believe that's the white right here, the non-marked. And it feels to me like an Ardbeg, Ardbog, or 1990 Ardbeg. Find the Campbellton Pete. I believe it's the yellow. So now I'm cleared to open envelope two, a look through the letterbox, semi-blind reveal. All right, what do I have? You're now semi-blind. Match the drams. You may choose to alter your guesses. This is your last chance before the full reveal. All right. We'll see what this does. It's going to semi-blind me. And I'm writing right on my challenges here. Right on them. Okay. Throw that over there. What are we looking at here? So now I'm getting some info. Oh, okay. So now I'm going to know what's in here but not exactly what is what. So I'm looking at the Scarabus NAS Isla Single Malt, 46% ABV. The Long Row Red Pinot Noir Cask, okay, 11-year-old. The Single Malts of Scotland Lechegg, 11-year-old, wow. The Ardbeg uh, Trayvan, the 19-year-old, I've had that. Surely that's my green. And the Lost Spirits Abomination. Hello, I feel better now. I feel better now. Okay, good. Hopefully I've got that heavily peated 54% ABV figured out. Uh, made in Scotland, but not Scotch. This Isla Peated Malt was sourced by Lost Spirits in Los Angeles and rapidly aged. Yeah, I believe that's the blue. But we'll see. That is interesting. So, um, at least I know there's an Ardbeg in there and there's an Abomination in there. So, I'm hoping I'm right on that. So, knowing that again, I can adjust my picks. Well, I've already adjusted what I believe is the Abomination over to last place. Yeah, it's... Boy, that nose is still deceptive. Yeah, something's off. Something's off there. They're still good, though, which is what's crazy. It's just a little off. All right. Wow, the Scarabus NAS Isla, I think, is going to be the red. I think the Ardbeg's the green. Mm. I don't know. No, no, it might be the white. Shoot. Okay. So I can adjust... Okay, this is my last chance to adjust. I'm not adjusting anything other than you've seen me blue, move blue to the last, and I believe I've called it out already as the abomination. So, knowing that, I'm not adjusting anything further. I may top some off if need be. Uh, after matching your drams, open envelope three. Okay, all right. Envelope three, the keys to the door full reveal. Let me make sure I'm not missing anything. I've matched them up, at least how I think. Be humble in defeat. <laughs> Raucous in victory. So this is after I open this up. And then finally nominate the next volunteer to receive the challenge. Um, ooh, and a nominee list is attached. Maybe it's in here. Okay, we'll assume it's in here. So that's good, because I was thinking, who would I pick blind? I don't know. I don't know. So let us see what is going on here. All right. Envelope three. Yep, there is some names in here. And we have the list. Oh, my goodness. I'm stunned already. So right off the bat, green, which was my number one, and I thought was going to be the Ardbeg Trey Van. Wow, is the Scarabus NAS Isla Single Malt. Holy moly. So this is sourced, undisclosed Isla Single Malt 
from Hunter Lang carries no age statement, but is said to offer decent value for Isla Malt. Uh, yeah, I need to go get this. It's running $40 US. I need to get a couple of these. Holy moly. Mm. Wowzer. Man, way off. Long Row Red 11 year is actually this yellow one down here. Well, what did I say? Yeah, I thought it was going to be the red one. So I'm not, well, I'm off. So uh, part Springbanks, uh, part of Springbanks peated. Yeah, that's their peated Long Row. Um, so that's the Campbelltown. Um, and I don't even know what I ended up saying for Campbelltown. What did I say under the challenge? Um, so I missed the budget one bad. Oh my God, Trey Van was what I thought was the budget. So let's go down the challenge. Find the NAS budget expression less than $40. I said red, which is the Trey Van, which I have in the middle of the road for what I liked. Whereas the budget uh, one was green and my number one in the Scarabus. Wow. Find the non-Scotch whiskey. I listed blue. Oh my God. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Wow. So blue was the single malts of Scotland Lechegg. 11 year. Hot. Part of the whiskey exchange. Oh my God. No way. The Lost Spirits Abomination is white. Get out of here. What? What? <sighs> wow. I list this is powerful, earthy, high ABV. My mind's getting blown. Let's go to green or red. Sorry, sorry. Let's continue down. I'm so blown by that. Find the mature $300 bottling. I listed white, which I thought was an ard bag. Damn. Wow. Four, find the Campbellton Pete. So obviously that's the blue, which is way down at the end. I listed yellow. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Sorry. I got that right. Um, I've got an arrow coming down. Find the Camelton Pete, which is yellow. Yellow is long row. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong arrow. Hey! I can pick out Campbellton. Um, find the Highland Isla Pete, uh, Island Pete, non Isla. That I listed as red, and of course, that's hard big. <laughs> but I said I wasn't sure on that one at all. Whoo! Wow! How in the heck? Goodness gracious me! My! Okay, list of volunteers. This is the first I've seen this. So I've got, of course, I can send it back to Mark, Scotch Four Dummies. That would be fun. Um, I could send it to a, a Phil Dwyer, Whiskey Wednesday. Um, I could send it to Bill. A whiskey Dick, send it to Ben, Whiskey Geek in the UK, Sean, the Scotch Ford Dummies. I'm going to tell you, since I was handed this by the Scotch Ford Dummies, I'm not going to send it back. Nothing against you guys. I'm just going to share the wealth. Jason, the Mash and Drum. Jason from the Mash and Drum is going to get the nod. Uh, uh, everybody on this list is phenomenal, but I want to send it to the Mash and Drum. All of the nominees have put their names forward. You may choose to nominate any individual Jason Mash and Drum. Jason, prepare yourself. <laughs> wow. Holy moly. Okay. I need to get a hold. We need to do a live. I can't remember the fellow's name that did the abomination. We need to do a live with him. You know, when I tried it, uh, the bottle that I have, I kind of liked it. I was like, wow, this isn't bad at all. But holy moly. And 
If you don't think I'm going to go find me some Scarabus, you're crazy. Scotch it, you Scotch gods. Can you believe I called out an abomination in the pack, but I was way off. Hey. Mm. Mm -hmm. Slaunch it, dummies. Abomination. <laughs>